Away from that story, a 21-year-old female national diploma student of business administration at the Okeogun Polytechnic, Saki Oyo State, Grace Oshiago, has been raped and killed. The young lady was sexually assaulted and killed on Saturday afternoon at a church where her parents live around the Idiori area of Sasha, Shasha on the Akinye local government area in Ibadan, the state capital. A source who confirmed the incident said, yes, it was another rape case close to her street and the lady was murdered at the same area. The local government where Barakat was killed a few weeks ago. Confirming the incident, the police in Oyo State said an investigation had commenced into the case. The incident occurred 10 days after Shomo Iwa Azizat, who was seven months pregnant and a postgraduate student of the University of Ibadan, was raped and killed in Akinyele local government area. It also came after 18-year-old Barakat Bello was raped and killed in the same local government area. And joining us via Zoom to bring us up to speed is the chairperson of the National Association of Women Journalists, Oyo State Chapter, Jadisola Ajibola. Good afternoon, Ajibola. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to first of all uh, correct, uh, it's not national, it's Nigeria Association of Women Journalists in our all right, thank you so very much for that. We apologize mm. for the mistake. Yeah. Now, uh, yet another yeah. rape story again. Any idea of what is responsible for the incessant rape and killing of students? Okay, uh, first and foremost, let me appreciate you for uh, bringing me on, on air to uh, talk about this. Well, um, as a matter of fact, um, all along we thought the incidences were rape cases. But um, there's a new development. Um, we uh, begin to see from another angle. These are not um, um, rape and murder. It is a ritual killing. And I'd like to let you know, when the case of um, Barakat first happened, and a lot of people were talking about rape, I took a step on that to, invest I mean, to investigate and um, engage security agencies who were on top of the matter. And the information at my disposal is the fact that they had an attempt to just remove their pants to make it look like a rape case, but, you know, just to divert attention. And I remember then that the uh, former commissioner of police in Lagos, who is the current special advisor to the governor on uh, security, actually made it clear that the case looks like the Bado case we have in Lagos when the second incident happened. So I'd like to be, uh, uh, to be clear on this, that it only looks like a rape case. Mm -hmm. We are not dealing with a rape case. We are dealing with ritual murder. Mm -hmm. And of course, the case, um, the new case of Grace, has brought it, has made it clear again to us that it is not, it is not, I stand to be corrected, a rape case, but, uh, uh, you know, a ritual killing. So, okay. and I want us to begin to look in that area. I want to also use this opportunity to call on government to rise to the occasion. Right. Yes, government has been doing a lot, lawmakers, but we need to do more because now we found out there's ritual killing. Nobody can easily, you know, confidently say this was how the, the gang got into the houses, what they went, in, went into. So we need to be more vigilant this time. Ajibola, what more do we know? What is the police doing to stem the tide, especially in that particular local government? Honestly, I do not um, uh, hold brief for the police. But I want to say all security agencies involved are working hard to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to book, including the critical chairman of that local government, Akinele local government. Of course, if I were us, we should begin to look at it from this angle. Why are we looking at it uh, uh, from the angle of one particular area, local government in the states? The three cases we've covered so far comes from uh, Akin Yele local government. And let me make it clear to you, Akin Yele local government, some parts where some of these incidences are happening are new sites. People are just building their houses. And so as a matter of fact, you know, they have bushes around that place. So it means that the gang in question are actually located somewhere around that place. So I think at this point, Security agencies should, you know, mop up action and go to that area to nip in the bubble. But of course, I'm aware that investigations, you know, are ongoing underground to fish out uh, the perpetrators. But more importantly, people should need to be their brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. I mean, people you would agree. People cannot even say how those guys got in there. 
You would agree that it's, it's quite overwhelming uh, uh, during the past weeks, the number of rape cases that we've had in this country. Now, in that state, what about the state government, you know, the higher institution authorities, any possible links at all to the secret cult uh, groups that you know of? Honestly, there is no link for now. But I'm aware that underground invest investigation uh, reveals that those guys will be need in the board. Efforts are ongoing. I can assure you that um, all agencies of government are doing the need for. Mm. Trust me, the cases, how they did Barakat was the same way they did this young lady. After uh, 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 murdering her, they remove her pants, you know, and then they match it. That's another thing we need to understand. They match it. So they are the same cases, the same trend, but I can assure you that in no time, uh, once all security agencies are... Uh, you know, on top of it, uh, just like I said, they are, we'll get to the root of the matter. 